Yes, so London is the biggest or the largest uh, city in the United Kingdom. And um, of course, it is no secret that living in London is very, very expensive. Uh, just like any major city around the globe, like Accra, like Lagos, Abuja, uh, Kingston, Harare, uh, Johannesburg, um, Nairobi, um, Delhi, Kingston, do you just mention them? Any other major city um, is expensive. However, there are advantages uh, of staying in these uh, in these I mean cities or working in these cities. And I've uh, come up with the ten cheapest uh, places to live in London. Uh, and uh, before we look at this list, um, I will take you through some of the some of the advantages and of course the reasons why you should actually work or stay in London. Stay with me. All right, so as I rightly mentioned, there are some advantages of um, living in this, uh, in the capital city or living in uh, the major uh, cities. Uh, but most of the time, we do concentrate much on the rent. Yes, rent is um, quite expensive in the major cities. However, there are things that are cheap. Um, like food, food is very, very cheap in the major cities because you have varieties. There are a lot of uh, shops available. Um, so food, uh, there are a lot of restaurants, and eat a lot of eateries. So food is never an issue in the bigger or the major cities. One advantage is um, is diversity, culture and diversity. Uh, most of these big cities, with, uh, especially London, um, it's, it's, cosmo it's cosmopolitan, so you have people from different backgrounds. You have a lot of Asians, a lot of Africans, a lot of people from the Caribbean, a lot of people from other European countries, America, and all that. So there's that vibe, there's that um, respect for each other's culture. Um, there are a lot of events, when it's uh, cultural events, I mean, so you get to learn and mingle and you, like you feel free for who 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 you are you don't feel that and uh, neglected you know you don't feel that um um i i i i isolated you know what i mean uh it, unlike other places you go yes the rent is cheap but you end up being the only black in the whole community or you end up being the only indian um in the whole community which makes sometimes makes life a bit unbearable um, especially for you and for your family. So that is one advantage of living in the bigger cities where you get to see people from your community and um, you get people to mingle with and, and, and all that. Um, the other thing has to do with um, um, even job opportunities. Yes, uh, so in London, um, there are lots of job opportunities in London because the competition is very, very high. Um, um, and employers trying to treat their their employees very very well. Um, if you want an, a, a side job or a side side hustle, you easily can easily get that in the bigger cities. There, you can, if you need a second job and all that, there are a lot of varieties, a lot of ways to make money um, aside your main job. And the one thing that people don't know is that um, even the salaries you get in the bigger cities are more than what you get outside London because we have what we call the London rating or the London waiting so or London wait so um, uh, there's always an extra package for you in terms of benefit and incentives that working outside London wouldn't fetch you um, uh, so we have something we call AFC for those who work in the health sector um, so that is affordable for change where the salary you receive, there is an extra percentage on your salary that you tend to um, get that those who work outside London don't get. Um, so that is one advantage. And also, some employers do help out with rent. So they will top up, uh, I mean, try to help you pay a percentage of your rent. All is part of their, um, their staff retention plan, actually. It's part of their staff retention plan. Yes, and those who love fun and entertainment, there are lots of places to visit in London, trust me. The nightlife, the eateries, 
just name them you know what i mean you can go today you decide to go for indian cuisine tomorrow i'm going for mexican cuisine the next day you are going for mediterranean you can see a lot of variety today you go for um if you want the fufu and the gusi with the uh, uh pando or iwedu or bono there are a lot of restaurants i mean so they're almost everywhere you, you know what i mean so you, you that's that you don't you don't miss home that much you, you, you get the vibe almost everything that um you need is, is readily available transport system is another uh, advantage so the trains the trams um the buses the taxi services uber boats ola just name them just name them commuting from one place to the other isn't a problem at all even if you are not driving or even when you are in driving um moving from one place to to the other is never a problem in london in the bigger cities whereby you will be staying somewhere outside london yes the, the rent is cheap i'm not i'm not arguing the rent is cheap outside london but it will take you two hours to get a bus when you miss one bus you'll be staying at the bus stop for two good hours just waiting for a bus so you can imagine so uh, these are some of the um, advantages I, I can personally see in living in, in London so it always isn't about the rent it always isn't about the, rent. the other things all the departmental stores the big big stores the brands that you know are all in London man so you get cheap cheap but quality clothing to wear there are varieties you know what I mean so even in terms of lifestyle and all that it's said to see things that you know that yes you are in abroad you are you are in europe it isn't that you just move from one village to the other so some of the, these are some of the things to consider now let's look at our top 10 cheapest places to live in london yes so number 10 on my list is waltham forest so waltham forest it is the northeast of uh london uh and it is one of this uh top 10 safest places to live in london um rent average rent is around 1350 and uh these um it's, it's, it's also a um diverse um i mean borough um very quiet and um serene as well those who don't like much disturbance well town forest is a place for you um number nine on my list is bromley so bromley is in southeast of london um very very close to lose to central london so you have areas like lewisham catford all those areas around there it's a very very have a great night life yeah the great night life in bromley uh average rent around 1300 um uh, so these prices that i'm mentioning are for, for obviously uh some one bedroom flats which are finished and uh, if i paint 1300 for a two bedroom then it is it isn't finished but you can get a two bedroom flat at that price um yes it's it's it, it's really a nice place um a lot of blacks as well and asians um that is bromley number eight on my list is um enfield so enfield is in north london enfield um, has a very large landmass large geographical area a lot of greens a lot of parks recreational parks um, it covers the areas of um, 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 uh, Edmonton Green, um, Seven Sisters, um, Hat White Hat Lane, so Tottenham, yes, that's where Tottenham FC is. Charlie, Seven Sisters, they all bow. If you go there, Charlie, um, it's basically like we're walking in a crowd in Lagos. Everything they did, yeah, there is everything there, trust me. Everything. So, a lot of the um, cultural festivals and other things happen in these places, even this year. The Ghana in the park is happening there. They have the the Afro Caribbean um, and festivals all happening right there. So Enfield, yeah, Enfield is a very large um, borough, um, very um, diverse as well. Um, I visited there a couple of times and um, I really enjoy going there. Anytime you go there, is 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 basically like we're home, you know. Yeah, so Enfield, Enfield is a is a, is a, is a nice borough. You can check it out. Yeah. Then uh, number seven on my list is um, Red Bridge. So Red Bridge is also in northeast of London. Uh, I've read Red 1250. Um, they have quite good schools around that area as well. 
um transport is good not too far again um they have good links to central london you have the tubes running and the trains are running um within a few minutes you are in central london it's fine uh number uh, five or no number six on my list is hillenden yeah so hillenden is um where he threw airport is and uh, also they have Brunei University so economically that borough is um, very empowered um I've seen lots and lots they have a very large Indian community over there um I've been there several times I've been to Hayes and Linden um it's it's not very far from Redden as well so those who want to go to part of North Midlands yes yeah, you can go to Redden from Hillenden just it's just close by yeah, it's a nice place um lots of shops um lots of eateries yes and they have nice nice hotels because of the Heathrow of course so they have nice 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 um hotels around number five hush Croydon yeah so if you watch my um video on the African market in the UK yeah, that's where I shot the video yeah, I think the largest um, and, and the, the African market you can find, African and Asian market you can find there, you can in Croydon. Come on, especially West Croydon. There are a lot of them there, very affordable food. Anything you, if you are homesick, go to Croydon. If you miss your traditional dish or traditional cuisine, go to Croydon. Um, you can have all the Indian cuisines and uh, Mediterranean, African, um, Caribbean as well. Um, see, there is no day you will go to credit without hearing someone speaking your local dialect or local language. Trust me. <laughs> oh, credit! And credit is quite big. We have East Credit, West Credit, South Credit, um, the direct trains, even buses to Central London as well. Um, yeah, yeah it's credit. It's a vibe, man. It's a vibe. Nightlife is great. Um, yeah, they have good clubs, vocational centers and all that. Yeah, credit is good. Uh, number four on my list is Bakken and Dagenham. Yeah, Bakken and Dagenham is um, also part of East London and Bakken and Dagenham is just nine miles away from central London. I've been to Ramford, I've been to Dagenham itself. The biggest or the largest Pentecost church I've seen in the UK is in Dagenham for me. Yeah. Um, the streets are quite good, good for driving tests. Yeah, <laughs> that, that game is good. Uh, average rent thousand two hundred. You should get. Yeah, you should get. It's 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 it's, it's, a, it's a nice place. That game, if you consider even getting mortgage around London boroughs and all that, those are the areas probably. Some of those areas you you, you might consider. Um, number four is Sutton. Yeah, Sutton. Yeah, Sutton is the safest place. According to research, safest place to live in London, and they have very very good schools. They they are they always top the GCSE um, I mean, exam. They always top. Their schools are very good, and uh, there is very cosmopolitan. So Sutton is very close to Croydon as well, and uh, there's a direct train from there to 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 to, to London Bridge or, or, or Central London as well. So it isn't um, difficult with commuting and all that. It's, it's a very busy and a nice place with lots of um shops and um, and all that lots of entertainment as well uh number two on my list is um havering yeah so havering is uh also part of the top 10 safest uh boroughs london boroughs or safest places to live in london and around 863 pounds you can get yourself one bedroom flats and that's part of um the UK even the north people are paying 700 for rent 600 so if you are paying 863 for one bedroom or 860 for one bedroom flats all by yourself it's, it's not it isn't bad it isn't that bad um yeah so i've read that part of get heading towards that for as well um it's, it's a nice place to live then number one on my list is Bersley. yeah so Bersley um it's very close to that for is in that for so you have sit cap and all that um 800 850 one bedroom flat yeah you can get it's the number five spots for the safest places to live in london as well 
um within 30 32 minutes by train you are in central london all these areas are close to each other and they are very cosmopolitan very diverse as well you get that sense of belongingness you know it wouldn't be you don't feel like an alien when you're in these areas trust me and they aren't far from central london anyway so most of these places are outer london so which means they are just few miles away from central london so a few minutes like 15 minutes uh, 20 minutes 30 minutes from central uh, central london so you commuting to these commuting to work you can work in central london whilst you <clears throat> you live in these places and they are they are, they are very good uh all the prices that i've mentioned are when you want to live on your own so they are a bit on the high however with 400 350 you can get shared accommodation 500 400 shared 450 shared accommodation yes in london you can get which is which is affordable yes which is affordable yeah so as i stated don't go and stay somewhere we pay rent 250 but before you see your country <laughs> It will take you ages. You feel that bored and you don't you, like you feel unwanted in that area. So I hope this video was uh, very informative. Uh, kindly like, share, and subscribe to the channel, and uh, can watch watch the other videos that uh, I've made. They are quite um, uh, educative as well. And thank you very much for 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 the support. You could feel from my voice that uh, I'm not feeling quite well, but I decided to do this video. So see you next time. Bye.